What's up, TRC fans? Don't miss our upcoming event, TRC Street Kings at Palm Beach International Raceway. You down to launch this thing or what? <laughs> TRC fans, Javier from That Racing Channel. We have an awesome episode in store for you today. For those of you JDM fans out there, this is going to be a hell of an episode. We're on our way to go visit the guys over at Trap Team. I got a phone call from a buddy of mine, and he said he knows of one of the most rare collection of Skyline R34s and just JDM cars in general, and it's right in our backyard. Think of some of the rarest R34s or Skylines in general. You think Z-Tune, you think like the Nismo factory stuff. Uh, you know, one of some of those one-off cars or, or very limited quantity cars, special colors, maybe like the Midnight Purple, which we've seen over at HP Logic. Uh, so I'm really, really curious to see what they're gonna have. or anything outside just yet. Let's see what we got going on. Elias 300. Oh, let's go, Subi. What's up, guys? Hey, how you doing? S15. Ooh, look at that R34. That is sexy. Hey. What's up? How what's you doing, on? Josh? Very good. How you doing, man? Good All to right. meet you. Good. What's up, Ryan? Good to see you, man. How are you? Good. What is this? Good. Jesus, this thing is sexy. This is my personal R34 GTR. Nice. Yeah. Um, is that trap team. This is actually one of the first cars uh, we got quite a long time ago, and we got it with a blown engine. So uh, we had uh, we had an engine prepared for an R33 we used to have, and uh, we decided we'll go ahead and put it in here and make it real showy with some titanium and all the goodness, you know. Nice. Yeah, that's the first thing you see really is that titanium, man. Look at that. Jeez. So it's a 2.6 liter. Uh, just look at that. It's so freaking pretty, man. It's so it's a 2.6? Six? It's a 2.6 liter with uh, Tomei internals, Tomei cams as uh, 280 cams with 10.9 inch duration. Um, it's got an old school HKS T51R. It is ball bearing, but um, that is our limiting factor. It's a classic turbo. It's uh, very renowned and stuff. Um, but like I said, we're going for very much show feel. We're not really looking for all the power in the world. <laughs> It should still make about 900 horsepower. The Ooh, but that's that's good, man. Yeah, that's more than enough. I mean, yeah. we're not trying to be the fastest. We're just trying to be reliable and enjoy our cars. For sure, man. No, I mean reliability for sure is and and trust me, 900. You can have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's more than enough to have fun. So it looks like it's still under construction. So it's almost done. But uh, so what what year is the car? It's a 2000. It's um, a regular GTR. It's not a V-Spec. So um, we decided that it, since it's not anything special, it's not a V-Spec 2, a V-Spec 2 NUR, we'll go ahead and just, uh, you know, build and do whatever we want and cut holes where we want and, and make it the way we want so we could just have a nice streetcar. Nice. It's funny how you say, ah, it's just it's just a regular R34 GTR. Well, you know, <laughs> you know cause you, I think you guys might be a little spoiled because anybody else is going to jizz when they come up and see this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when, when it comes to GTR, there's, there's a huge collection aspect to it. So oh, yeah. everybody wants a fast car. And I, I just feel like if we want to do right by the community, we'll do it to a regular one. Oh, for sure. For sure, man. So it's still under construction. You got some parts in here. And man, this thing's clean, though. Really, really clean. Yeah, we were lucky to get a very clean chassis. There are a lot of... Uh, used up rusty chassis oh in yeah japan. So for we sure were, uh, and you never know what, what you get when you know when you're getting them from japan and absolutely. stuff so yeah. you got to know what you're doing to get the right cars that's sick man brakes look nice too so you got awesome. some nice brakes all around is it a full titanium exhaust as well or is it only is it only the piping up here uh it's a full custom titanium exhaust all the way back down pipe all the way to the back jeez that's sick so it's gonna have uh quite the high pitch sound it's gonna sound good yeah I mean, and honestly, the camera probably just does this no justice, but I'm going to try to give people as much as I can with this, but it's just, man, the engine bay is just a work of art, man. You guys did a really good job. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm nerding out here a little bit, if you can't tell, <laughs> because 
as you guys know, we're putting the R32 together, and I can't wait, man. With the R33s and the R34s, they have uh, surging like problems with the fuel actually delivering. Uh, so when you're taking a corner or something, the fuel is sloshed to one side or the next, and you'll have um, issues with feeding fuel into your engine. So we resolve that by putting a surge tank in the trunk over here. So it's got a low pressure system on one side, and then we have our high pressure system on this side. This is what feeds our engine. Nice, super clean, man. Super, super clean. All right, so we're gonna head to the shop, check out some of the rare, rare cars. That thing's pretty sweet, man. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, guys, so we're here at the warehouse. Ah, perfect timing. What's up, my man? Woo, what do we have here? Jesus. That's, uh, that's a lot of R34s, my man. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is where we keep, uh, uh, most of our collection stays here. We really don't bring them out too much because we do have very special cars in here. Um, rare colors, collector cars, things like that. Wow. All so, right, walk us through, man. Yeah. Jeez, look at that color, man. That's so rare. I don't think I've ever seen one in person. Yes. This uh, color. This is uh, Silica Breath. It is um, one of 122 in this color. Um, it's basically it's basically like a luxury track edition car. Comes with leather interior from factory. Um, it's it's almost like a gentleman's edition. That's why they have it uh, with these uh, these colors, leather interior, and things like that. Uh, this car was really meant to buy and have a luxurious car to take to the track and be able to track it because it does have a lot of you know neat bits that make it a little bit different. Just like the V specs and things like that. This is an M spec, so it's absolutely gorgeous, man. It's a so they come pretty standard underneath the hood. Um, nothing too special. Super but clean. Mostly suspension work and uh, the interior bits and things like that. Nice. Oh, look at that. It comes with the larger piece that brakes on it, naturally, because it's a uh, special car. Wow, man. This thing's a gem. I love that BBS wheels on it, man. Yeah. It fits perfect. It just Let's take a look at that interior. That fresh leather. Damn. So you only find these leather interiors in uh, these M-Spec cars, and then they release the- Ooh, still smells brand new. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they released a few to Europe, um, some of the European cars, or I think all of the European cars, which are very few, came with um, leather interiors. Well, well, you mind if I sit in it? Nice. Dude, this thing is minty. right up got the r34 little digital display gotta love that man yeah a lot That's of the sick. digital displays the r34 are the screens uh, eventually get messed up it's the lcd it's, it's like old school cool. screens yeah very <laughs> common problem uh easy replacement oh you got a japanese lady yelling at us i think it's like a toll thing right <laughs> same thing in my r32 man this thing is nice Nice, and this thing's beautiful, but oh boy, Bayside Blue Heaven. Bayside Blue Heaven. One, two, three. Jeez. Yeah. So I know one of these cars is really, maybe two of them are really, really special, right? Yes, uh, we can actually start over here on this side. This is our low mileage car. It's a, uh, it's a 2002 V-Spec Tuner. Um, it's very low mileage. It's got about 6,000 original miles. It translates what? to some 6,000 original miles. It translates to like 8,500 kilometers. 6,000 original miles. Yes, yes, yes. This thing probably still smells brand new. It smells brand new. <laughs> the shifter the shifter stands straight up. I mean, it, it is about as new as I've seen it personally so far. That is nuts, man. So we were that looking to find nuts. this car. Uh, it was stuck in a garage for about 12 years and uh, we were able to pick it up and it just wasn't moved. I mean, we had cobwebs on it and everything and it was really like a great find for us. So um, the special thing about this car is not only the low mileage, not only the V-Spec 2 NUR, it's also an HKS demo car. What? Yeah, so HKS released about 10 of these demo cars and um, most of them have been used um, at shows, races and things like that and destroyed. And um, this one here was just parked. So it comes with uh, 
a bunch of HKS bits. It's a 2.8 liter from HKS. Uh, it's got um, it's got big twins on it. Um, and yeah, it's a full HKS build. It uh, it showcases all of the little bits in it. Wow, man, you mind popping the hood and yeah. showing us? I love the little the little scoop here. It's so clean. Jeez, the little that. scoops are uh, are V spec two. V spec two. Yeah. V -spec wow, two man. I've been seeing so many R34s lately and it's just dreams, man. These things are just incredible. So you can signify the V-Spec 2 nerves by the gold ball covers on the engine. If you look over there, the actual VIN plate is gold as well. Nice. That's freaking sick, dude. These things are just literally minty, dude. Minty, minty, minty. So awesome. And this one's just, it's basically modified to how, when it came from Japan, I guess when HKS built it. They built it's two it. spec, like you guys haven't changed anything. We haven't changed anything. The only thing we've done is change the oil. I'm very adamant about not turning any bolts on this because, you know, we obviously don't drive it. We do let it run and we service all the fluids and things like that. Um, but besides that, HKS is the one who built this car and hopefully it stays that way. Awesome. Oh man, freaking nuts. Wow. So what's, what's the story on this one? V spec 2 Nair. It's uh, very low mileage, also. It's 27,000 kilometers, it's about 15,000 miles. Um, besides it being very low mileage, 15,000 miles. Yeah, besides it being very low mileage, crazy. this car was uh, built and owned by the head tech of the Nismo Mori factory. There's pictures of this car in the factory that uh, Speed Hunters got years ago and stuff like that. If you search the Mori factory, you find pictures of this car in it all day. But um, besides that, you know, it's got the full Z2 front end on it, the fenders, the hood, which is the hood is the, the genuine Z2 carbon hood, uh, the nice. limbs, everything. Um, the car so it's basically off. like the closest you get to having something like a Z2 or something like that? Yeah, especially this car because it's not necessarily even about the body kit that's on the car. It's about the, uh, the engine work that's, on, that's done with it. Originally, the, the car started with an R1 engine, which is like Nismo's race setup. Nice. Nismo's you mind popping the hood and show us? Yeah. Looks sick. Wow, I don't know if you're able to see it on camera, but just the the finish on that is just yeah. insane. The Mori plates. Wow. Say so yeah, this car started out as an R1 car, which it, as I said, is like there. Jeez, so there's like wrist. a couple different years here. Yeah, so, so it you started can see as an R1. R1, and it's got the year, and then you can see the year that was upgraded to the F Sport. Uh, the F Sport oh, engine wow. is basically Nismo made only eight of these engines. And it's using all the leftover parts from the 19 Z-Tunes they made, which 18 public cars and then one demo car for Nismo. Um, Jeez. Which is using the Triple R block, uh, which is basically the 24-hour Le Mans racing block. Um, besides that, it's got z -tune pistons, cams. What? That's awesome. So it's basically like the cream of the crop, crop yeah. like block-wise. Block like stronger than the N1. Exactly. It's also it's a 2.8 from factory. What? Um, so the last real Z2 strut bar on the car as well. Carbon fiber around the airbox, all this, like it's the little details, you know? Yeah. Jeez. This strut bar is also really rare. As I said, they don't. Oh, make... it's an actual Z2. Yeah, it's an actual Z2 strut bar that was made from one of the Z2s uh, as a spare. What? Uh, you cannot buy that from Nismo, they don't sell them. This is probably one of the rarest R34s, not only in the country, but maybe the world. Yeah, huh? uh, yeah. We Jeez. definitely agree that it's one of the rarest in the whole world. Basically, the the lineup of R34 and the rarity goes, you know, Z-Tune, and then we like to classify this car as right after the Z-Tune because of the engine and the build and the work, uh, only being eight of the engines, and this one still has two or three of the engines, only a few of these sold. Jeez. And then besides that, this car was built at Nismo, tuned at Nismo. Um, wow, man. That's incredible. That is incredible, man. I'm like speechless, to be honest. These probably, uh, then, uh, for sure, is the nicest R34s I've ever seen in person. Wow, man. Look at that, you can see the, it has the rear diffuser, all that stuff, like, wow. This one's on, this one's on. Uh, this car also has R35 brakes. Nice, R35 brakes, wow, man. They did this thing right. There's all kinds of pictures of this engine on the Amori factory, like Google images and stuff. If you search it, the engine alone, the long block is usually listed for about 7.1 or 7.5 million yen or something. Jeez. So the, the long block alone costs the same price as most standard. That's like 75 grand, right? Exactly. Something like that, somewhere yeah, around there. With taxes yeah. and everything, it's... Jeez. 
Whew. That's R34 royalty right here. All right, so this is the 6,000 mile one. Let's see. This thing should smell brand new. Oh my gosh, that is insane. That is freaking insane, guys. This thing smells brand new. Showroom floor. It's still even got the the plastics on the door sills. Oh my gosh. It's kind of dark, but this thing is literally brand spanking new. Let's start this thing. Wow. Just wow. That is incredible. Oh yeah, you can tell the screen on this one's just perfect. Let's see if we can see the 9600, excuse me, 9659 kilometers. So I guess that translates roughly to about 6,000 miles. Wow, man. This video is gonna do this no justice, sorry guys, but it smells so good in here. I feel like I'm sitting in the in the factory in Japan, in Japan or the showroom floor in Japan. <laughs> oh man, it's a dream come true. It is crazy how clean this car is. Outside shot. Just a McLaren. Yeah. Just a McLaren, no big deal. <laughs> stupid clean guys wow man this thing is so so clean I mean you can tell it's a little dusty but I'm sure you guys are very particular with the paint and don't want to don't want to just wipe them down because you know that can hurt the clear I, I guess you guys probably have like a detailer come in you know and, and and hit them every once in a while yeah um you know we probably do it about once a year just so we can keep the nice wax on it but honestly we keep a warehouse and any warehouse just throws up dust we've been battling it forever so yeah. We just kind of let them yeah, sit in the warehouse. Cars like this, you can't just wipe down. Like if the people Absolutely think not. they just wipe them down with like some quick detailer that really screws up, you know, gives you swirls in, in, in the clear and all that. I learned that with uh, with the Supra being a black car, but um, so it's better to leave them dusty and then, and then wash them and detail them and all that, you know? Well, a lot of people don't realize that when it comes to uh, paint from a factory, you can't, you can't replicate it. Um, it's just once they put it down the first time, to put it down like that again and even get the color right, it's extremely difficult. Yep. So even scratching this car would be just tragedy. Yeah, for sure. Nice. So uh, what's the deal? Are we going to take one of these for a spin or what? Well, you're on the <laughs> I actually need some gas in this car right here, so I guess we can go to the gas station. I haven't pulled this thing out. Are you table. serious? I was kidding. You, no, no, no. You really want to take this thing out? Well, it says E, so we might as well. The gas station's just down the street. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's do it. Right. Hell yeah, man. What? Ready to go for a spin? Yeah. Ooh. That's wild. And this thing has, this is the 15,000 mile one. Yes. So this one still has the little plastics on the door sill. That's insane, dude. This one still smells brand new too. Yeah. And Not as much as the other. The little other one literally feels like I just, I'm on the showroom floor in Japan somewhere sitting in a brand new R34. <laughs> And, that, and that's what's a lot it's of fun crazy. with it. It, 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 We have different examples of different mileage and stuff and, and 
you know, there's no arguing that that car has 6,000 miles. There's no arguing that this car has uh, 15,000 miles. You can actually see and, and feel the, the differences. R34s, R32. The dreams are made of. Yeah, it is a uh, Saturday afternoon. There's gonna be quite a bit of traffic. I figured at least multiple R34s and things we could pull off. We could be defensive. It's crazy how clean this thing is, man. And this is all like factory carpets, like. I can do is buy you gas. <laughs> well, riding this car is gonna be at least 50 bucks for those two <laughs> Jesus, this thing is incredible. Again, don't mind the dust. This thing looks so mean, dude. So mean. No, another it literally, it looks pretty much identical to a Z Tune, almost, right? I mean, it's, 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 it's about identical. Another yeah. neat thing that I don't know if you caught. Here, look at this. The Nismo. The Nismo's uh, lower lips come with a wood splitter. You what? Look, look, see that? There's a piece of wood. Oh shit! Yeah, it's wood. And that's a Nismo thing, a factory Nismo piece. They use wow. That to uh, protect the lip and carbon fibers. Jesus. I don't know if I could own one of these things. I wouldn't get anything done. I'd just sit there and stare at it all day. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we did that for a long time. <laughs> I just sit there and stare at it. Like, and we got the. Uh, this guy's freaking out. <laughs> uh oh, they're coming for us. They saw us coming down the road. <laughs> it's incredible how you're so right. This one just looks so different than any other one. Yeah, it it's crazy, man. It does just make you go, oh my god. It's pure sex, man. And this one is just so beautiful in the, in the sunlight, too. Jesus, I'm in heaven. I'm in pure heaven, guys. That leather interior. These things are freaking mint. Damn, that's so sweet. So this one's not too far behind, man. This thing is sexy as hell. You got the Z-Tune fenders as well. So this is uh, your personal car, right? My personal car. 
Z tune fender, Z tune bumper, V spec 2 hood. It's a HKS 2.8 build, step 2, uh, in one turbos, IKEA formula, control arms, all the suspension work, nice. all in spoil overs. This car is pretty much set up for a road course. Yeah, road course fun, but I'm sure yeah. it's still pretty quick. It's still pretty quick. Yeah. It goes, it goes, but it dies out at top end, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like a that's a that's car. a turbo swap away, bro. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wanna, you might you might pop in the hood for it. Yeah. yeah. I want to keep the response of it, you know. Oh man, that's the fun. That's the fun about it, you know. Having that that nice response zip around town. If you want the big power, you know, you need a two J. <laughs> nice. Man, all your cars are so freaking clean, man. You guys did an awesome job on it. I'm in freaking GTR heaven. And it's nice because most of the ones I've seen in the States have just been all stock. Yeah, you most, know? Of, most of them are stock. So yeah. No one really does anything with them. For that matter, a lot of the R32s too. People are just now finally starting getting around to like trying to make big power R32s. Yeah, even, definitely, know? man. Yeah, there's a couple around the, around the States here trying to make some big power. Yeah. So can we go for riding this thing too? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's this about? Oh, that's uh, Akira Nakai, the guy that does all the RWB builds. We went to one of the RWB builds and I just had him sign the dash. That's awesome. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. He's the man. Yeah. Love his Porsches. You know? It's not quite a Porsche, but... Yeah. Sure. That's awesome, dude. Man, this thing is super clean. Sweet. All right, let's go for a spin of this thing. Jesus, this thing sounds so good, dude. This is by far the cleanest. You can throw that bottle in the back. Just throw it in the back. This is by far definitely the most I've seen in one spot. Yeah. <laughs> and also some of the rares, so thank you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. No worries. Woo, look at that. R34 Dreams. Zipping through town, that's just so much fun. That response that, yeah. you know, you weren't letting it eat, but just kind of partial throttling it yeah. and, and kind of getting on it, you know, it just, nothing beats that, man. Nothing beats that. So much fun. <laughs> Look at this guy. Skylines all day. <laughs> So we pulled over to take some pictures of the car. Take some shots, nice shots of the car and everything. Look at that, it's all carbon fiber on that. Jeez, that's crazy. Hey Josh, uh, you wanna you down to launch this thing or what? I'll launch it for you. Yeah? yeah? Fuck yeah, let's do it. Yes, man. Oh, 
shit. It feels so different than like an R35 all-wheel drive launch or something, you know, it's just, it's the mechanical all-wheel drive, nothing like it, dude. And, and that's what I try to explain to people. They're nothing just like, like it, Oh man. my God, well, you know, we have all these cars that launch control. It's just the feeling of a mechanical real car is just like nothing else. Dude, insane. Thank you for that. No problem, man. I left some clutch there for you. <laughs> Hell yeah. High five for R34, R34 launch. R3, got a good one in there. Video of a video. <laughs> That's sick. The video quality on this thing is fucking nice. Yeah. All right guys, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one home. <laughs> I'm gonna play in this thing again. Later, man. Thanks for the car. All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in my dreams. I wish it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. It's my my first R34 launch ever. Pop my cherry. It's like a chrome looking wrap or something. Team Salomon. That's nuts. Yeah, there's a bull run or something going on. Yeah. Jesus, this has to be one of my favorite colors. So this is a uh, midnight purple. I know there's a few different variations of it. Uh, yeah, this is midnight purple three. There's midnight purple one, two, and three. On. One is just purple, which is R33. Uh, two is like a bluish green, and this would be the the more bluish copper. Yeah, dude, it's insane, man. And this thing looks freaking minty. Super low miles, it looks like. Like, just wow, man. Yeah, there's 189 of them in this color. Uh, this one here has- There's only 189 of these? 189. <laughs> I like to say it's probably the most sought out color out of all. Um, I mean, look at it, it's just- it changes color. I mean, right Crazy. now the lighting does no justice. It looks absolutely the best during sunrise or sunset. Um, and I'm sure that copper starts to come out, you yeah, know, and like it's almost like an orange coppery. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, man, that's nuts. All right, so the whole time we've been eyeing these R34s, and this thing's just kind of been lurking in the background. This one, this one looks a little bit more serious than anything else you guys got in here. So let's uh, walk us through this. What's going on here? Uh, this is our 1994 180SX. It is our drag car. It's got a power glide two speed. Oh, wow, yeah, it's right hand drive. That's yeah. sick. It's our drag car, uh, so we take this to um, all the drag racing events. At least we oh, wow, look at that. With the wrap, you can kind of see the. Uh, is, that a, is that a logo that you guys have there? It's our uh, track team logo. Oh, that's uh, sick. It's also on the roof. <laughs> nice. Dude, the wrap looks awesome, and the fitment on the wheels is perfect. TRC knows about the 2J240s. You know all about that. Nice. Looks like a precision turbo. Sweet, man. This thing's gonna do some work. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna go out So you guys gonna bring this thing out to uh, TRC Street Kings March March 30th? Uh, yes, we're hoping to make it out there. Okay. Sick. Y'all better watch out, this thing looks nasty. Hold this thing open, let me see if it starts up. <laughs> Oh, that logo on the roof is sick.
here over at Trap Team. We're gonna be doing a lot more stuff with them. So make sure to subscribe and make sure to follow these guys on Instagram. What is it? At uh, TR4PTEAN, Trap Team. At Trap Team with a cool four. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Peace.